Well, you guys got another video here for you. The ultimate USB drive you must have. That's what we're going to be talking about today. This will be able to fix a lot of PC problems, whether the PC can't boot. You can always boot to this USB drive, back up your data, scan the hard drive, whatever it is that you need to do from this environment, you can do it using the IOMI PE Builder. Now, the IOMI PE Builder is a free tool you can download and it will allow you to create your own bootable USB flash drive with all your tools that you want on your drive. So you're going to need a tool that does backup. And the IOMI uh, PE Builder does include the IOMI uh, backup program, which allows you to uh, backup your data. You can add in other portable applications like data recovery, or maybe you want to uh, clean the PC, or maybe you want to add in some sort of malware scanners or something like that. So download the application and we're going to go ahead and get it installed on the PC. It's a pretty simple process. Just follow through and click next to install it on your PC. Once we've got this installed, we'll be able to open the application and get this uh, started so we can create our bootable USB flash drive. So we can boot to that drive. Even if the computer is not booting, we can still uh, use it to fix Windows. So you can see here, there's plenty of helpful uh, links here which you can click on to add other portable tools and other things like this. Uh, so you can click on those and read them at your own leisure. And as you can see here, we're going to download WinPE, creating an environment uh, from the internet. We're going to create a 64-bit. And you can go down here and you can click these plus uh, signs here and basically add the everything in here and a bunch of other bits and pieces. These are what you get by default. But if you want to add some more files or add some drivers in, you can do that here. Click on the add file and you should see a shortcut name. I'm going to leave it as my tools and you can see here, add files or add folder. This is going to be the folder that you add with all your portable applications in it. And you can add them into a folder like my tools here. Try not to overload the uh, WinPE with loads and loads of applications so it becomes too large i.e. over two gigabytes in size. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble loading this into memory. I try to keep it very minimalistic so it can load in with my essential tools that I need. Now, the WinPEs you're going to find on the internet are completely bloated with loads of useless tools that you're never, ever going to use. So you can see here, we're keeping this very minimal. So once we get to this stage and we've selected all our tools, we can now export the ISO file, or you can use the built-in tool to create a bootable USB device, but I'm going to create the ISO file so I can use this on other builds as well when I want to. So all you need to do is click next. It will go off on the internet and download all the necessary files and get it all prepared. I'll speed this process up. Now, if you're having trouble, if you're having issues downloading the uh, tools that it needs, you can click on the click here to download the creating environment uh, as a zip file and unzip it and drop it into the folder and it should work perfectly fine. So we've got our ISO created here. It's only 500 odd megabytes and that's perfect for what we need. Now I'm going to go ahead and download Rufus. I'm going to use the portable version of Rufus and you can see it here. So I'm going to click on this and download it. Once we got this downloaded, you should see it here. I'm going to open this up and we can use this to create our bootable media. So let's go ahead and get this opened. That's it. Then you can check for updates here. I'm just going to say no here. And there we have Rufus opened. So you can see here the device is called Brightec Toolkit. I'm going to select the ISO image by clicking on the select button and choose my ISO, which I've just created. It should be on my desktop. That's where I left it. So I'm going to go here and click on this one. There we go. So that's done. So we've selected our ISO. And now we need to select our partition scheme. You've got GPT and you've also got MBR. So if you're on older systems, it'll be MBR. But I'm going to stick with GPT because that's a newer system. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to change the file system to NTFS. You can give it a volume label if you wish. I'm going to call this a Brightec Toolkit or something along those lines. And we can have the target system as UEFI non-CSM. That's the settings I'm going to use for this one. Once we've got it all done, we can click on Start. And this will give us a warning to say all of the data on that drive will be erased. And I'm going to click Yes to continue. And it will copy all the files it needs over to uh, the USB flash drive and prepare it for building our bootable USB flash drive with our toolkit on it. So once this is completed, we need to boot to this device. So we'll need to go to the BIOS and change the boot order so we can boot to this USB flash drive. So we should see, press any key to enter 
uh, the bootable phase for this USB flash drive. You should see something like this loading up on the screen. And once we get to this stage, we will get to the next bit, which will load up our WinPE. And there we go. We're at the WinPE desktop. And this is loaded into memory. And you can see it's got some very useful tools already uh, preloaded in here. So let's take a look at some of these tools so you can see what it can do. So for instance, if your PC is not booting up and you can't get your data off, you can boot to this uh, WinPE and you can create a backup of all your data using the IOMI Backupper standard version. So as long as the PC powers on and the power supply is not dead, you should be able to boot to this WinPE and then you'll be able to create a, a backup and you can also restore a backup or whatever it is you need to do using the IOMI Backupper. We also have the IOMI uh, the Partition Assistant Standard Edition here. And you can see we've got a bunch of features inside here. Uh, you can uh, rebuild the MBR. You can do a disk surface test. And we can wipe the hard disk. And we can do a bunch of other stuff with this toolkit. So very, very useful if you want to manage all your partitions and your hard drives on that PC. So it's very, very useful. And this can do a quick surface test of them drives as well while they're in there to see if they're damaged. So you can check for hard drive damage, bad sectors, and all that good, sort of good stuff. Very useful uh, tool. So let's go into our toolkit here. So let's go into user tools. And these are the ones that we've added in. So you can see here, if I want to update drivers on the machine, I can click on this, and it will open up Snappy Driver Installer. This is one of the programs that I installed. And I can download drivers only, or network drivers only, or driver packs, or whatever it is that I need to do to update the system so I can get it working. I can also check Wi-Fi keys and all that sort of good stuff on the machine as well by getting this here. So if I needed to get Wi-Fi keys, I could do that. And I could also do some other stuff by adding other programs in that I need for my particular workflow that I'm doing. So whatever tools you need on your build, you can add them into your WinPE. Very simple and easy to do by using this method. So let's move on to the next tool here, Shadow uh, Copy View as well these are really useful tools from uh, neurosoft freeware you can head over there and download all of their toolkit and add it into your WinPE, and you can have some awesome tools that you can access certain things on your computer very useful stuff so let me just uh, go ahead and close this off and take a look at one more tool here and we'll take a look at uh, cpu z which is another useful tool we've got recover on there we've got some other data backup software which i've added on this one as well I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can add as many as you like or as little as you like, depending on what you need. Just don't overload it with useless tools that you're never going to use. Only add in the tools that you need to use in this sort of environment that are very useful to you, like backup, data recovery, and other things like that. Especially if you're on site, using data backup this way is pretty good. And backing up also uh, the system. Maybe you want to back up the user profile. You can use tools to do that as well. You can have access to CPU-Z to get some information on the system you're using. Maybe you can't boot to it and you want to know what the CPU is, the motherboard, the RAM, or any other bit of hardware that is inside that computer. Now, this uh, WinPE does have its limitations because it's loaded into memory, but you can use it for some sort of malware removal and things like that as well. So it's a pretty useful tool to have. Now, let me know in the comments section below what sort of tools you use on your bootable USB flash drive or your WinPE. I'll be interested to know. Also, let me know whether you actually use WinPEs or whether you've stopped using them now. I'd be interested to know that as well. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then give it a thumbs up. Also, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.